Hello friends, good morning to all of you. Uh, uh, we are, um, I welcome all of you to our new series of uh, lecture sessions on biochemistry. So these uh, uh, lecture sessions, myself along with uh, Dr. Purun Nagasri, we are going to uh, help you out with the lectures on biochemistry for pharmacy graduates especially. So these lectures uh, are exclusively meant for PharmaD uh, first year students and uh, B pharmacy graduates. So here what we are going to uh, uh, explain. So on different topics uh, that we are going to explain are uh, these. Cell and its biochemical organization, then thermodynamics and uh, biological oxidation, then uh, the biochemistry of water, pH, buffers and electrolytes, then biochemistry of uh, different uh, chemical classes like carbohydrates, uh, lipids and uh, uh, amino acids, nucleic acids. So regarding uh, uh, these topics in biochemistry and we also have a clinical chemistry component. So where the, the biochemistry of body fluids and then kidney function tests, uh, liver function tests, in blood tests, lipid profile tests and then immunochemical techniques. Uh, all these uh, techniques in detail along with case studies uh, we are going to explain to you. So the, uh, for the entire course, so we follow, we suggest you to follow also. So these four very important uh, books on biochemistry. So the, uh, all these books are very well known and uh, very popular throughout the world. Like uh, Principles of uh, Biochemistry by Leninger and Harper's Biochemistry and uh, Biochemistry by Stryer and Biochemistry by U. Sachinarana. So these books we can, uh, we are following and we suggest you to follow also. So it is not mandatory that now there are so many books are available on biochemistry you can follow any one of them. In biochemistry the science concerned with the chemical basis of life. So before entering into the actual subject let's have one a simple question. So what is the need for biochemistry subject in, in the field of pharmacy? So do we really need this subject? Because we all knew that biochemistry is there in B.Sc. Biochemistry, B.Sc. Biotechnology, uh, Bioinformatics, Chemical Engineering, all of them study biochemistry. But what is the role of biochemistry in pharmacy? So in pharmacy, what is our role as a pharmacist? We are supposed to offer a drug to treat a disease. So before uh, uh, giving a drug, to cure a disease, we need to first understand what is disease. So even before that one, we need to understand what is health. So if somebody asks you what is health, what kind of definition you are going to give? So can you simply say that I can eat and digest the food so I am healthy? Can it be considered as a comprehensive definition? So here, we need to first understand that human body is composed of a complex combination of organic, inorganic compounds and water. We all know that one. This body is nothing but a very big complex molecule, chemical compound. And life depends on biochemical reactions. So for anything, for any kind of a, a tissue function or any kind of a life activity, even when you are listening to this lecture, your ears are working and some kind of biochemistry is going on um, inside your brain. So that's the reason why we need to first see and uh, understand the functions of body in terms of uh, biochemistry only. So if we use biochemistry to define health, health may be considered as that situation in which all of the many thousands of intra and extracellular reactions that occur in the body are proceeding at rates commensurate with the organism's maximal survival in the physiologic state. In the physiologic state. What does it mean? Inside our body, millions of biochemical reactions are happening. So they are happening in harmony in coordination with each other and that too at a rate which is optimal for our survival which is optimal for our survival 
is what exactly is health so what is a disease then so there is lack of coordination between these biochemical reactions one there is over activity or lower activity of certain biochemical reactions or an enzyme is missing or an enzyme is over produced so these are certain biochemical components that can result in disharmony inside our body disharmony inside our body that leads to an outcome which we call it as a disease if we have this type of a comprehensive definition comprehensive understanding on health it will be really difficult uh, re really easy for us to understand what exactly is a disease if we are able to efficiently understand what is a disease that leads to efficient drug discovery or drug treatment or disease monitoring so this is the reason why every pharmacy life sciences every student of life sciences need to first go through biochemistry and for pharmacy graduates or ph students pursuing pharmacy biochemistry is indispensable is very very important it is foundation for understanding physiology pharmacology medicinal chemistry and other subjects the major objective of biochemistry is the complete understanding at the molecular level of all the chemical processes associated with living cells and biochemistry has become the basic language of all biological sciences what is the meaning of these two sentences the major objective of biochemistry is complete understanding at molecular level so if you see any kind of uh, uh, tissue function or any kind of uh, uh, life activity let's say if i ask you how actually you are able to see then if somebody says like i have eyes and so through eyes i am able to see we cannot call it as a comprehensive uh, explanation or if some problem comes inside i we will not be able to solve it with this basic definition so in case of biochemistry that helps you probe into the actual process of vision so thereby it helps us understand that inside cornea so we have certain biochemicals proteins rods and cones are there which are responsive to light so upon receiving a signal from outside these proteins will modify and provide you a chemical signal that will be translated into a picture by the brain so this type of understanding is what is provided by biochemistry second one if somebody ask you to explain why it is happening biochemistry provides you terminology language so that you can explain it understand it read it write it and then explain it to the people so that's why biochemistry is not just a subject it has become the basic language of all biologic sciences and now biochemistry is essential to all life sciences i hope all of you are convinced with that now let us see what are all the various subjects that are connected to it physiology without biochemical understanding you cannot possibly understand what is physiology then pathology immunology toxicology pharmacology and pharmacy and then obviously zoology botany and microbiology so all these subjects are tightly connected to uh, biochemistry now let's see the relationship between biochemistry and medicine it's very very important there is a reciprocal relationship between uh, biochemistry and medicine so if you see biochemistry and medicine study of diabetes gave us a comprehensive idea on glucose homeostasis or carbohydrate metabolism so understanding carbohydrate metabolism gave us drugs like insulin which uh, are used to treat diabetes and if you see this sickle cell anemia gave us a very clear understanding on protein chemistry and then atherosclerosis is tightly connected to lipids okay what is the application of this one study of atherosclerosis and its pathogenesis gave us a very clear understanding on a very clear relationship between atherosclerosis and lipid concentration is established 
now for a treating we are giving drugs to lower lipids lipid lowering agents are given so in that way both they helped each other in understanding and cancer and nucleic acids of, of course we all knew that how mutations in genes results in cancer okay so this is the way how the relationship between biochemistry and medicine is actually a reciprocal relationship they helped each other in development so all diseases treatments and their side effects have a biochemical basis so biochemistry helps us in in a, in a, in, a, in a comprehensive manner in uh, all these areas of medicine so let's say in case of diabetes we knew that there is a problem with glucose homeostasis especially hyperglycemia so we can use insulin or insulin activators so this is the way how a rational can be there for uh, you know a, a treatment can be offered in a based on a rational that is derived from biochemical understanding of a disease allergic reactions we all knew why allergic reactions are happening allergic reactions happen because of histaminic reactions and if you use a histamine blocker like diphenhydramine you can treat it psychosis psychosis happens because of excess of dopamine in your cns so thereby that gave us that understanding gave us phenothiazines or dopamine blockers as a, an appropriate treatment and then chronic myeloid leukemia is because of bcr abl tyrosine kinase so over activity of this enzyme is actually resulting in chronic myeloid leukemia so we have a drug we call it as imatinib and then certain biological um, uh, conditions like post menopause syndrome is because of lack of steroidal hormones obviously so how can we reverse this situation by providing hormone replacement therapy we provide hormones from outside night blindness this is what we discussed earlier also night blindness is because of failure of vision vision cycle okay so now if you provide vitamin a there is a possibility of reversal of this situation cyanide poisoning in case of toxicology okay cyanide poisoning let's like cyanide poisoning if somebody asks you why cyanide poisoning is killing a person how can you answer that hemoglobin is being poisoned so that electron transport chain is blocked so you cannot breathe the oxygen that is going inside is not utilized so you will have to die that's it hepatotoxicity of paracetamol is more relevant to us hepatotoxicity of paracetamol because whenever we are giving a drug there is every possibility that a side effect can come side effect may be because of a drug or because of its metabolite so its metabolism is again another part of biochemistry gives us the actual understanding so metabolite of paracetamol that is n acetyl parabenzoquinone imine is actually responsible for the hepatotoxicity so by knowing so the toxicity components also can be studied by using biochemical understanding biochemical studies contribute to both diagnosis and treatment so here another very very important role of biochemistry in pharmacy or in medicine is diagnosis its help in diagnosis and also in therapeutic monitoring because when a disease is diagnosed properly half of the solution half of the disease is cured okay it is like that so if a disease is properly diagnosed then there is there is a solution for that so to here biochemistry is used to first reveal the fundamental causes and mechanisms of disease for example there is hypertension is there in case of hypertension why it is happening its pathogenesis is to be understood first so that we can offer a treatment we can avoid it all these things okay so to reveal the fundamental causes and mechanisms of the disease <coughs> the second one is to suggest a rational treatment for disease we can use biochemistry rational treatment for a disease so for diabetes we are offering anti hyperglycemic or otherwise hypoglycemic agents which reduce serum glucose okay 
so why are we offering that because we knew that diabetes is happening it is actually causing a disturbance in glucose homeostasis ultimately resulting in hyperglycemia so to reverse that we have to offer a hypoglycemic agent so that we can tune our biochemistry to assist in diagnosis of specific diseases assist in diagnosis of specific diseases so we our understanding in glucose homeostasis uh, gave us a certain metrics like normal blood glucose level is 80 to 120 mg per deciliter is actually a metric obtained from uh, biochemical studies uh, hence right now if somebody is getting undergoing treatment for diabetes we can monitor the uh, no efficiency or otherwise whether our treatment is working or not by monitoring its uh, uh, the person's biochemical uh, parameters like uh, blood glucose level preprandial or postprandial blood glucose level can be monitored act as a screening test for early diagnosis early diagnosis is very 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 important in some cases like we knew that in certain cancers especially those cancers which come because of hormonal activity like breast cancer ovarian cancer these genes cancer causing genes are carried okay genetically acquired so maybe the patient person is asymptomatic but there is a chance of getting the disease in future so this type of uh, uh, doubts can be cleared by early diagnosis so the genes can be monitored so whether the person is carrying that pathogenic gene or not or oncogenic gene or not can be monitored for early diagnosis to assist in monitoring certain diseases the progress of certain diseases means recovery worsening remission and relapse especially in case of cancers after once the cancer treatment is over whether the patient is still carrying any cancer causing genes or cancer causing cells in the body is to be monitored so that we can uh, uh, evaluate the patient condition and if the treatment is successful or not we can monitor okay so this is the way there are there, there is almost all types of uh, diseases uh, uh, makes use of uh, this thing like uh, biochemistry for recovery worsening remission or relapse of a disease can be monitored with biochemical uh, experimentation to assist in assessing the response of disease to therapy how now i think you are convinced that biochemistry is one of the most important subject as far as pharmacy is concerned and this is the subject which helps you get a very strong foundation upon which you can build knowledge on pharmacology physiology medicinal chemistry so friends uh, biochemistry is uh, a subject which you need to revise which you need to keep with you throughout your life so with this discussion we conclude the first introductory session and I will see you again for our next lecture on biochemical organization of cell. Uh, please share it with your friends and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And I thank you all for your patient listening. Thank you.